There are 36 million people that play fantasy football in the United States and Canada. Some play for money, others play for something even more precious, at least to them, and that's pride. Here to discuss which of the new NFL rookies you'll want on your team, we welcome in Peter Shanky, the president of Rotowire.com, one of the most respected sources for fantasy news. Peter, 254 players were drafted over the weekend. Give us your top five players that fantasy footballers should draft next season. Well, the first one would be DeAndre Hopkins out of Clemson. He's got a chance to start week one with the Texans and, you know, with uh, Andre Johnson on the other side of him, he, he could get a lot of targets. At number four, I've got Tavon Austin from the Rams. I mean, he's only 5'8", but he catches the ball in space. He's got great speed. He's going to replace Danny Amendola in the slot. He could be a, a monster in PPR, especially with what he can do after the catch. My number three pick is Le'Veon Bell from Pittsburgh. He's a big bruising back in the traditional Pittsburgh mold. He should be able to beat out the backs they have already and could get the bulk of carries, and that's going to be, uh, that would have a lot of fantasy value. My number two pick is Monte Ball in Denver. Denver's a high-powered offense. Again, who's ever the running back there you're going to want to grab. Um, you know, he should, be, he should beat out Willis McGahee, who always seems to be one, you know, one injury away, away from the end of his career, and his time might have run out in Denver. And my number one pick is Eddie Lacy of the Packers. It's been pretty rare in the Ted Thompson era to take any running backs, let alone a second-round pick. He could fit right into that offense, uh, get a lot of carries. The Packers haven't had a 1,000-yard rusher in three years, but they've had some pretty good running backs uh, you know, during the, the recent uh, high-powered offense era that they've had. So he, if he gets the job, gets every carries, he could be a, a fantasy monster. All right, Peter, let's stay with Eddie Lacy in Green Bay. The Pack also drafted UCLA running back Jonathan Franklin in the fourth round. How much could Franklin, who was second-team All-Pack 12, by the way, affect Lacy's production in 2013? Uh, definitely. I mean, you know, as much as I, I like Lacy's upside, you want, you know, a running back who's going to be in a good offense and get the opportunities. And they spent a lot of high pick on him, so you think that they give him the opportunity to take over the job. But at the same time, all of these rookies have risks. Lacey's been banged up. That's why his, uh, his draft stock fell a little bit. Yeah, and he's got some viable running backs on the roster. So he's a guy you have to watch in, in this summer uh, to see what happens. But if he gets the job, if he gets the bulk of carries in that offense, you know, he could be a fancy monster. All right, so Peter, one position we haven't discussed is quarterbacks. You don't have any on your top five list. Do you think any of the quarterbacks in this year's draft are worthy of having on your fantasy team? Not really. I mean, you know, traditionally, most quarterbacks take a couple years to develop. The last couple of years, have, we've kind of seen a change. But the last two years with Cam Newton and RG3 and Andrew Luck, I mean, I think it's been kind of the rarity. Uh, that's not traditionally how it's worked. And this year, all the all the – uh, quarterbacks are kind of developmental projects. Maybe some of them could get a starting job right away, but I don't see any of them cracking the top 12 or 14 in a fantasy league. He is the president of rotowire.com, Peter Shanky. Thanks so much for the time today, and we appreciate the fantasy advice. All right, thanks. Good luck in your drafts this year. How will Marcus Lattimore do in San Francisco? We ask a man who's been following his rehab, our South Carolina insider only, on campusinsiders.com.